What's up, YouTube? Do you like my little dress situation? This is my grocery shopping dress. And these are my grocery shopping heels. Just kidding, I just came from church, which is why I look so fancy. But I am going to go into Aldi right now and pick up some groceries. I just recently did a video, um, it might have been one of my last videos, my Trader Joe favorites. And a lot of you guys requested that I do an Aldi favorites as well because there's so many good things at Aldi's for cheap, like super duper cheap that are super good. And little known fact, in some way, shape or form, Aldi and Trader Joe's are somehow like related. I don't know if they're like owned by the same people or if they get a lot of their like stuff from the same place it's just like repackaged and sold at Aldi for cheaper I don't know some I forget what someone told me but that's the case so I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite things and I will probably also have a haul of stuff that I bought at the end of this vlog so stick around go and go shopping rule number one of grocery shopping after church always bring sandals so that you don't have to go grocery shopping in those take it from me it sucks All right, so I'm back in my car after my trip. I feel like I'm looking haggard, which is how I feel inside too. Aldi always seems like a really good idea, and it, it is a good idea, because it's cheap, and there's a lot of like organic produce and stuff there that's normally more expensive at other stores, but it's very frustrating that they do not bag your groceries. In fact, they don't even give you bags for free. You have to pay for bags or bring your own, which I get it, we're saving the planet, <laughs> whatever. But it's a little bit irritating that she like puts all my stuff back in the cart and then I have to go to a table near the exit to bag all of my own groceries. But that's how they keep prices so cheap is because they're not paying for bag boys, they're not paying for bags. There's nobody on the floor who will help you, like no associates or anything really. So I'm feeling a little frazzled. I'm just gonna go home. We're gonna look at all the stuff that I got because I got some pretty cool stuff, really cool stuff. And I'm excited to show you and show the cats. All right, 
I am back. So I'm just going to take everything out of the bag and go through what I bought. One thing I have noticed at Aldi is that sometimes they have some stuff and sometimes they don't have it. Like two things that I wanted to buy there today that I was going to show you guys was, first of all, Halo Top ice cream, which most of you are familiar with the pints of Halo Top ice cream. They have a couple flavors there from time to time and they have been $3.88 there, which is the cheapest I've ever seen Halo Top. And another time I was there, they had a different kind of ice cream. It wasn't like a pint of ice cream. It was like a little chocolate cherry parfait ice cream that came in this little container and the whole thing was like only 250 calories and it was so good and I was so excited to buy it today and they did not have it. So bottom line I think Aldi sometimes will like keep some name brand stuff on hand and then sometimes they just don't have it. I don't know the rules of Aldi. The rules of Aldi are not clear or simple so I don't I don't know. Anyway first I'll start with my produce. I got grapes today. I have never in the history of doing a grocery haul on my channel ever purchased grapes. I think at some point in my life I realized that they were like the more sugary, high carb, high calorie version of like other berries. So I just stayed away from them because I was like, no, I want like the lowest calorie berry there is. But dude, grapes are so good, like so good. So I got these and I'm excited to eat them. The next thing I have is an Italian lettuce blend. It's just romaine, radicchio, radicchio, I don't know how to say that. And I wish there was purple cabbage in here, but that's okay. It was super cheap and it's lettuce and it's crunchy. Most of us know how I feel about wilty lettuce. I feel terribly about it. If you're gonna have a salad, it needs to be crunchy. That's a rule. Next I have more blackberries. Wait, did I have blackberries in my last grocery haul? I don't remember. We have talked about how I used to think I was allergic to blackberries. I'm gonna turn down I'm not. Why are blackberries so good? Are blackberries gonna go out of season soon and taste gross? I'm so new to produce. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I was not always the healthiest eater. It's just been the last year that I started picking up lots of produce. So the fact that I can't always get all the produce that I want at any given time of the year is strange to me because you can get Doritos anytime and they always taste good. This is new and different for me. Next I got cage-free large brown eggs. Matt and I recently switched to cage-free and when we can grain-fed and free-range but we'll just like we just always get the best that we can find at Aldi so yes here are some eggs. That's my husband walking in the door. Hi husband! Hey, All right don't get mad about what's on the table. Don't get mad. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Next I have corn on the cob. Another grocery item that I've never hauled before because I never bought corn because it just seemed like a high calorie vegetable that was not worth the calories. That's the thing, when you spend so much time dieting, especially if you're like a flexible dieter, you do if it fits your macros, you suddenly start finding all these foods that are no longer worth the calories. For me, that was corn and also grapes and another one apples. I'm on the hunt for Honeycrisp apples because I have not had one in years because at some point I decided they were not worth 24 grams of carbs or whatever they are, which is stupid. Apples are worth everything and so is corn. Corn's really worth everything. Like how is this even a vegetable? It's so good. But yes, we bought corn like this from the farmer's market a few weeks ago. This is probably not going to be as good because farmer's market vegetables are always better. But it reminded me how good corn on the cob is with just like some butter and some salt. Ugh, so good. So I got this. And to go with the corn, I think I'm going to put this in the crock pot. Simply because I don't know how else to cook this. A pork center cut loin filet mesquite barbecue flavor. Basically, it's just a big round hunk of meat, but it's a lean protein. It's only five grams of fat per serving, so I like that. I bought a pork tenderloin like this before and I threw it in the crock pot. I'm pretty sure that's what I did with it. And it was really good. And so this looked really good. It was very cheap, like $4.84 for this entire thing, which would easily feed me and Matt and probably have some leftovers. So yeah, I'm thinking this with the corn on the side as a delicious dinner. Unexciting, but worth mentioning, I got lots of canned goods because canned goods are so cheap at Aldi. Usually like between 40 cents and 90 cents. Um, even for the organic stuff like this, this is organic pinto beans. I don't think these are organic, but I tried. Like I said, sometimes they have the organic stuff and sometimes they don't. I read the stock there is so weird, but I make Matt a super delicious cream cheese spicy chicken chili. I make it for him about once a week and I have for like the last six months of my life. No, scratch that. Almost a full year. <laughs> and he still requests it like every week. So this is three of the ingredients is diced tomatoes, corn, and beans. So I try to always keep these around because this chili is just made in a crock pot. It's super easy. It's like the best thing to make on like a busy night, which by the way, I do have a YouTube video with the recipe of this chili, which I will maybe link below. You never really know with me. Sometimes I link stuff. Sometimes I don't. I'm sorry. I'm unpredictable like Aldi. Last two things, onion powder. That's not exciting. I don't even want, why did I even show you? But I got 
onion powder because it's delicious and I'm out of it. And this, PB Crave Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Peanut Butter Spread. This is amazing. I tried this for the first time probably four years ago, a long time ago. It's been around for a while, but it's so freaking hard to find. Sometimes I can find it at Walmart and sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can find it at Meijer and sometimes I can't. Ordering it online is like super duper expensive and I don't remember how much this costs at Aldi. Thing. I don't know where the receipt went, but I know I paid only $40 for everything I just showed you. Plus I did buy another thing that was $12, which means that all the stuff I just showed you, I only paid like $28 for or whatever. But anyway, so this is peanut butter with like honey and cookie dough in it. I don't know. Let me see. I just ran my spoon through and do you see that's just like straight up chocolate chips that are just in the middle of this stuff. Everywhere in here is just like, see, it looks like cookie dough. It's like chocolate chips. It's so good. Mmm. And I like it because it's not that sweet. Like surprisingly, you would think this would be super sweet, but I think they use honey as like the main sweetener in there. And honey is just not as sweet as like cane sugar or whatever. So I like it though. It's really good. So if you find this at your Aldi or anywhere on planet Earth, get it. They also have like a cherry flavor. They have a banana chocolate flavor. That's so good. The last thing I really got, which my husband is sitting next to. Hi, husband. Hello. Is a cat scratching post because I have two cats. A one, a two. Oh. So my husband is going to assemble this today. Little did he know. Alright, so that is going to wrap up this grocery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as you enjoyed the Trader Joe's one that I did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I will probably be doing this with Meyer, maybe. Maybe Kroger, but definitely Whole Foods. So keep an eye out for that in the future. And yeah, that's it for now. I will check you guys out in the next vlog. Bye!